Hi, my name is Luke Homan, and in this short video, I will show you how to uh, invite players to the game and show them how to play the game and look at the results. Now, you'll remember that in the last game, I had set up my uh, topics available for the players, and I selected the checkbox that by default, which says automatically place players into the game. Most of the time, you're going to want to leave that checked. Now, I've got a game ID over here of 413-261-858, and that's the game ID that I would actually give to my players. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. Now, I'm going to fire up a new window. So I've got a Firefox window going, and I'm going to claim I'm going to join the game. So I'm going to type in my name, uh, Ming, and often first names are fine. And this would be, you know, Ming at HP.com. And I would type in my game ID, and then I might select uh, an avatar that kind of seems fun. So I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, look at the different avatars that are available, and, and this one seems nice. So I'll say join a game. Now you'll see a brief flash of a screen that says, you know, waiting, be patient, and then we're in the game. And these are the choices that Ming has seen. Now if I go back to my host screen, you'll see that Ming has been added to the game board with three dots above Ming's head, indicating that he is thinking about his topic. I've chosen ice cream. Let's see what Ming chooses. We'll see that Ming chose coffee, and he looks at this, and there's only one page of coffee brands, but we're looking at different coffees, and he really enjoys Starbucks and Pete's and some of the bigger named uh, coffee, but he also has a, a, a taste for uh, McDonald's, which actually is pretty good coffee, <laughs> and maybe uh, Seattle's best. And he's ready to start the fun. Now, when you look at Ming's game board, you'll see that it is different than the host's. The host's game board has controls over the players in the lobby and can move things around. And Ming's game board just shows the players. Now, you'll also see that there's little pop and drop items that come to play where you can see hey Ming think you know me try and guess my like list players that are in green with a green question mark mean that the like list has to be guessed and that's the foundation of the game is guessing other people's lists so in this game Ming will click on the name Luke Homan and we're presented with the choices that Luke Homan made in random order. And let's see that Ming um, knows me pretty well. And he knows that I like Rocky Road because we've been out to lunch before. And he knows I like vanilla. But he's not so sure about the other flavors. So he's going to kind of put them in an order that he thinks is best. And he says submit guess. Now you'll see that Ming has a checkered flag indicating that he is done. Now the host has to complete their job. So now I have to guess Ming's list. And I think, oh wow, I, I know my friend Ming and I've seen him in airports and I've, we've gone out and I know he likes Starbucks, but I'm not so sure about the rest of his choices. So I kind of rank order it in this way and I say submit guess. And what the system does is it calculates a score, which I'll explain next, and it shows the detailed results. Now you'll notice that uh, the first screen on the detailed results presents the choices made by Ming in the order that they were made and presents the choices that I made. And we can see that Ming's favorite coffee was Starbucks and my favorite ice cream is Rocky Road. Now, how did Ming get 52 points? To look at the detailed scoring, I'm going to click and drag Ming up to the top where it says drop a player here to view detailed results. So I drop Ming there and I see my perspective button. Perspective, how well the very interesting person, the person at the top left, knows everyone else. And if I click, I can see that Ming got my first two items correct. So let's click on the plus sign, which is a comparison. Here's my list on the right-hand side, and here's how Ming guessed. And you can see that there's a scoring algorithm that says, you get 10 points for a match, plus a bonus match based on the position. So you can get a maximum of 74 points. And I'll let you uh, mathematically oriented people determine how you can get a maximum of 74 points. Now you'll see that there's also one slot away and two slot away lower points. And that's my score with Ming. Now if I change the perspective button, I can see how well the VIP is known by everyone else. So I can see that I knew Ming's top choice 
and I knew McDonald's. And so the scoring algorithm kicks into play in this way. Now, as a player, and I'm going to go over to the player window in this simulation, I can click Next on Detailed Results, and you'll see that the player can independently look and explore things. Now, at the bottom of the screen of the player, there are no additional controls. But if I were to want to play again with the same player, I can say play again with the same players. And this is where I could use a set of, I could choose different topics. You know, I can look at things like sustainability issues or something that's a little bit more serious, like overused resume words on LinkedIn, which is kind of fun. And if I were now to play again as a player, you'll see that Ming's screen automatically changes and goes into the new game. And this lets me play multiple games with my uh, various colleagues. Thank you. And the next video will show uh, people who are hosts how they can organize the games that they've played.